Power Rangers. How strong are they? Well, let's just get to this real quick. First of all, let's go over for their scaling. The Omega Rangers, which pretty much scales directly over the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, who are superhuman in their own right. We know how strong they are. They can get them on like what? Massively fashion like speeds, large planetary, you know, all these kinds of feats, right? And the Omega Ranger scales directly above them. Even the White Ranger, the White Ranger was stated to be like the one of the strongest Power Rangers to ever exist. Wow, mm, interesting. Well, wow, how the Omega Rangers are completely outscaling the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Anyway, since they was able to fight against Dane, Dane was able to study every fight the Ranger has ever been in. They completely gets blitzed by Dane, and Dane completely just washes the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And when the with the Omega Rangers came to Earth to deal with Dane, they was able to react to him just fine and managed to knock him out with one hit. Wow, wow. And not even that, but Zed, Lord Zed, which is the big bad of the series, even who faces off against Jason 101, says you may be stronger than the other Rangers I have faced before. Meaning that the Rangers are literally canonically stronger than the normal Rangers, even Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder Rangers being, wow, uh, what, mass, fast, and light, and getting around to outerversal levels. Oh, speaking of outerversal, the Rangers, all the Rangers are comparable to each other since they get that power from the, uh, from the Morphin Grid. The Morphin Grid was stated by the creator to be able to transcend concepts like dimensionality and stuff like that. Um, you pretty much can see this for yourself. You, you can put it up there. That gets the Rangers to around, what, 1A? Oh, wow, wow, wow. And then we get like Lord Zed to be around like higher to 1A or pretty much like high 1A due to the fact that he said that the the Omega Rangers are nowhere close to his equal. So yeah, that means like one Ranger is not enough, meaning all multiple Rangers get around to them to be high out of Versal. In fact, they should get also be high out of Versal due to the fact that it was able to fight a fucking character that came from the Morphin Grid and is and directly is connected to the grid. So yeah, they able to completely uh, one shot this character named Grayson, who was directed to the grid and, and comes directly from it. They completely one shot the guy and pretty much the Amisteries, which is pretty much every Power Ranger that have ever exist, exists within the Morphin grid. Meaning they get the power from it and they can even draw power from it, from what has been stated, to even end up their power. So pretty much, in a nutshell, Power Rangers are high out of Versal. Uh, or you can you well you can say out of versal to high out of versal with uh, with high ball and with massively fast and light to immeasurable speeds. So yeah, pretty much yeah, yeah. Because all the more uh, the uh, Omega Rangers can move in the halls of legends, which is outside time and space. So yeah, pretty much they even have immeasurable speeds. So yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. That's how strong Power Rangers is, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.